tech innovators and incubators, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I extend a warm welcome to you to Nairobi, Kenya, the Silicon Savannah of Africa and the world. Karibuni sana to Nairobi, which was voted the best city to visit in 2024 by Lonely Planet. It is at the heart of a country that is on the cusp of a digital evolution. I'm here to represent President William Ruto, who is out of the country attending the United Nations General Assembly. I bring warm greetings from our President. <clears throat> we are honored to host the 41st International Association of Science Parks and Areas of Innovation World Conference, which is happening in Africa for the second time in 40 years. On behalf of President William Ruto, the government of Kenya, and the people of this great country, we thank IASP for this special recognition. It is an affirmation of Nairobi and Kenya as a emerging and towering epicenter of digital innovation and technology revolution in Africa and the world. It is even more exciting that the conference's theme, demographics, entrepreneurship, and technology, defining the frontiers of future economies, underscore the government of Kenya's strategic focus of adopting and integrating ICT to power and drive sustainable socioeconomic transformation. This is as envisioned and our development blueprint of Vision 2030 which also aligns with Agenda 2030 of the United Nations and Agenda 2063 of the African Union, which provide a roadmap to inclusive, sustainable prosperity of communities and societies. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this conference also happens when our administration is implementing robust projects and programs to spark and spur development. Our government has tasked the Ministry of ICT and Digital Economy to lead in installation of 100,000 kilometers fiber optic cable across Kenya, as we also set up digital hubs in the 1,400 wards across the country. These hubs are providing vital access to digital platforms and job opportunities for our young people whether in urban or rural settings. In just two years, nearly 20,000 Kenyans, Kenyan youths have engaged as digital workers, contributing to enterprises across Asia, America, and Europe. The digital hubs are not only fertile innovation incubation centers, but also springboards to a knowledge-based and tech-driven sustainable economy founded on efficiency service delivery. Indeed, Kenya has identified and embraced technology. Our e-citizen platform now offers a wide range of citizen services, from birth and marriage registration to more complex administrative processes to our people and visitors from across the globe. This is one of the reasons we are meeting here to explore and exchange knowledge and best practices for shared growth and development across the globe. We are therefore synchronizing and solidifying our approach to breaking barriers and usher in a new era of innovation in various sectors of our economy. In this conference, we are laying a foundation of refining and redefining transformative frontiers to, sus to support sustainable economies. For instance, Kenya has identified manufacturing and industrial revolution as one of the pathways to development under the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. This is similar to our sister nations across Africa and other developing regions. Agripreneurship is the basis of manufacturing. This requires technology for all year-round production as we transform farming from a subsistence to a high return 
source of livelihoods for families. As such, we have to invest in our tech savvy youth in climate resilience to buttress sustainable agriculture. This will feed into smart manufacturing, which promotes and preserves the environment. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is against this background that Kenya continues to invest and fast-track development of the Konza Technopolis. This Technopark is the home of research-backed entrepreneurship, an incubation and hatchery of startups, and a link to mentorship, partnership, and business opportunities within and beyond our borders. This, important, this is important because technology is unlimited. It transcends borders, offering business opportunities in solutions to global issues, and in return, providing a framework of linking local business enterprises to the global economy besides digital jobs. That is why Kenya is committed to unlocking digital opportunities for our citizens. I wish to express our profound appreciation to the International Association of Science Parks and Areas of Innovation for its crucial role in inspiring the growth of science parks and innovation hubs worldwide. Your efforts have been instrumental in nurturing ecosystems that foster creativity, collaboration, and advancement in technology. This is through providing a direct link between learning institutions, innovation hubs, and the pool of industry experts in these exclusive knowledge exchange fountains. Our higher learning institutions, like the University of Nairobi Science and Technology Park, are generating knowledge and potent research-based innovations which will benefit from science parks in linkage to industrial application. This is important for our country and other developing nations as we focus on the youth in the growth of micro, small and medium enterprises and other sectors. As Kenya hosts this conference, we are showcasing investment opportunities in Konza Technopolis, our flagship project as we build a self-sustaining smart city to support the various strats of the economy. Such smart cities must set the pace in propagating and enabling an environment that allows for the converting imagination into innovations in line with the demands of time. Tech-leading countries globally are reaping from infusing artificial intelligence into agriculture, health, trade, manufacturing, tourism, education, among other critical sectors of the economy. Kenya and Africa cannot prosper by consuming important technology and innovation only. We have unique resources and challenges which must inform our deliberate and strategic investment in research and development as a peculiar to customized solutions. With artificial intelligence estimated to contributing 15.7 trillion US dollars to the global economy by the year 2030. Kenya and Africa must have a bite of the benefit of this technology. It is an even playground in innovation. Nothing stops us from exporting our excess technology to the world. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, in technology and innovation lies immense potential of transforming the lives and livelihoods of our people in Africa. Even as we bank on innovation, there are barriers that we must be ready to overcome through strengthening collaboration and partnership at national and international spaces. One of such challenges is cybersecurity threats. Criminals are innovating to be ahead of everyone. With the global predicted to lose, with the globe predicted to lose at least 20 trillion US dollars by the year 2026, we must invest more in securing the digital ecosystem. This calls for harmonization of laws, policies, and regulations to ensure stricter and prohibitive penalties against national, international, and transnational cyber crimes. This conference is a blend of sound minds in the technology sector. We have an opportunity to define the tomorrow and the future of our people through resolute resolutions 
that will bring the real socio-economic change that we seek in sustainable development. On these notes, distinguished ladies, <coughs> distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure on behalf of President William Ruto to declare the 41st International Association of Science Parks and Areas of Innovation World Conference officially open. Asante Nisana. Thank you very much. I want once more to welcome you to the city of Nairobi. And uh, as the CEO was communicating the highest number of delegates, as I sat there, I assumed that since the venue of the conference is a walking distance for the Kenyan people, the Kenyan delegates would have been the majority. I'm yet to understand how our brothers and sisters from China outnumbered us. <laughs> I think, P.S., uh, you need to see me behind the tent to do some explanation. <laughs> um, on a lighter note, let me take this opportunity to digress. And for two minutes, take this opportunity to market our tourism to the international delegates present here. Please, don't leave this country before taking a trip to the Masai Mara, the eighth wada of the world, to enjoy the abundance of our wildlife. The lion, the cheetah, the elephant, the buffalo, the rhino, how can you possibly go back to your country before going to see those animals? Please, I beg you. Number two, take a chance to fly to Mombasa. We have beautiful coastal beaches with white sand. And there's a lot of sunbathing. Don't just go back to Europe and to America and to Asia. Our cultural heritage is the best in the world. You must get a chance to interact with the Masai Morans and enjoy their beautiful dances. And those Masais, they kill lions with their bare hands. You need to see them. <laughs> and finally, as you came here from the various destinations, across the world. You carried some money in foreign currency, either with a visa card or in cash. Please don't go back with that money. <laughs> Make sure at the end of the conference, you spend the, to the last coin. We do need that for an exchange. As you board the plane back, you have left some money back at home. Leave whatever you have with us here. So I want to thank you for attending this great conference. The organizers, thank you very much. I'm sure you will have very fruitful discussion. And we are honored as a country to have hosted this great conference. And I want to thank the organizers, the participants, and each and every one of you uh, for your time for your commitment and uh, for the very, very robust discussion that you have been having and continue to have. Thank you very much. Have a good day.